Ghana Extra Promotion Authority has launched a campaign to market the fine arts to the world in a bid to create an avenue for Ghanaian artists to enhance their incomes. The launch happened in Accra last night. There's more in the following report. <laughs> Over the years, artists in Ghana have complained mostly about the lack of patronage. Some have resorted to establishing their careers abroad as a result. It is against this background that the Ghana Export Promotion Authority, in partnership with the Ghana Tourism Authority, organized the first premium arts exhibition in Ghana. The three-day event took off Friday, showcasing the best of premium art to art lovers under the theme, African Arts Lives On. The grand arena of the Accra International Conference Center was filled with magnificent artworks that provoked thoughts and also displayed rich Ghanaian and African culture. Victoria Addo is one of the artists. I think this program is a good idea because it's bringing artists together. I see it as a festival and I'll be so happy if this is done annually to bring artists together and also to bring people to see what we do. Most of the time people do not know what the artists do and even if they do they don't know how to get our works. So as we come together, they can come, enjoy the works, and if they want to buy, they can take them home. Ifwa Asabia Asari is CEO of the Ghana Export Promotion Authority. The authority plans to hold the event every year to attract patronage from international audiences to enhance income of Ghanaian artists. We've been doing a lot um, by way of agribusiness. We've been looking at um, um, talk of how to help farmers in pineapple, coconut, vegetables. We've been looking at our craft villages as well. We've helped craft, being poetry, being um, sculpturing. You talk about it, but we realize that um, we haven't done so well with um, fine arts as we had done with probably textiles um, there's still more we can do but as for fine arts we hadn't even touched fine arts at all so we decided that every December this is when we get visitors coming into the country our brothers and sisters from the diaspora bringing their guests into the country this is a time we can showcase what we have by way of fine arts so this is what prompted us to put this together at this time to, to let the world know what um, we can offer by way of fine arts. We actually want to even um, institute an awards scheme program so that we can judge who is doing what and doing it well and all of that and then it will be part of this whole thing. Rahel Naki Tete Lanos reports read to you.